Chicago police today fired back at prosecutors who dropped charges against actor Jesse Smollett this afternoon, releasing pages of evidence that led to the original 16 charges against Smollett. Correspondent Matt Finn with a look at the evidence released and the ongoing fury over the surprise dismissal of charges. Today, Chicago police released some of its Jesse Smollett files before the case was sealed. Documents read the Osandaro brothers claimed they did not send that death threat letter that police allege Smollett sent to himself. Police say the FBI is investigating that letter. Today, Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox, who recused herself during the height of the Smollett investigation, said Smollett likely would not have gone to prison, as he's a nonviolent offender who forfeited his $10,000 bond and did community service. In a radio interview, Fox says, I think the confusion for people who don't understand the intricacies of the justice system, who don't understand alternative prosecution, it's a hard thing for people to process. Fox News obtained a copy of an internal email from Kim Fox's office requesting examples of other cases to bolster its stance that drop charges are not uncommon. The email reads, quote, nobody is in trouble. We are just looking for further examples of how we as prosecutors use our discretion in a way that restores the victim but does minimal harm to the defendant. Other messages reveal Michelle Obama's former chief of staff, Tina Chen, persuaded Fox to ask the Chicago police superintendent to turn his investigation over to the FBI because the Smollett family was worried about leaks. Chen messaged Fox, quote, I wanted to give you a call on behalf of Jesse Smollett and family who I know. They have concerns about the investigation. Fox then responded, spoke to the superintendent Johnson. I convinced him to reach out to the FBI to ask that they take over the investigation. He is reaching out now and will get to me shortly. The attorney for the Osandaro brothers says they were ready to testify before the case was dropped. Fox News recently caught up with the brothers at a boxing event. Yeah, but you got a lot of fans in Chicago. What do you got to say to your fans? The Chicago Police Union has formally requested the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Chicago investigate Kim Fox. John. The gloves are definitely off. Matt Finn for us tonight in Chicago. Matt, thanks.